always loved graffiti too, and I always thought graffiti was like actually the most, really, I honestly thought it was like the highest form of artwork. So with graffiti, I thought it was the number one sort of like most uh, truest art form because you didn't ask for permission to do it. You were doing it at night under cover of darkness anonymously, you know, and then creating like masterpieces, you know. Well, I, d I had a friend that worked here and they let me know that there may be an opportunity. And then I, I contacted them. They put me in touch with Joel. Uh, me and Joel sort of like talked about it, plotted and schemed to see the best way to sort of approach this. And uh, sort of the rest is history. I'm more or less new to doing this full time. I've been painting and doing it as a part time thing. But this is like the first sort of like major contract I got with a prestigious institution or organization like Stras. So it means a lot to me, and I'm um, really looking forward to you know, continue working on it. I, I like them all equally. Uh, I've had a few that I've really, really loved. Alphaba from Wicked was uh, was one of my favorites. The, uh, the the Wizard of Oz, the great and powerful Oz himself, I liked a lot. Um, this one right here, I, you know, each one I, I kind of love it as I go. The stigma of vandalism and all that kind of thing is, uh, you know, it's still there, uh, but I, more and more people are becoming accepting of, you know, if, if it's painted with a spray can, that it's not something wrong with it. Right now, you know, there's a global street art movement or public art movement. It's been going on for some time now, and I think it's finally starting to take hold in, in Tampa. Uh, St. Pete has a very vibrant street art scene, mural culture going on over there, and uh, Tampa, you know, is starting to catch on. 